to load the prescription to the sprayer, we log into Operation Center, and then we come up here to the top left to go to Tools, and then we'll scroll down the page here to go to Files Manager. At that point, we'll use the uh, filters over here on the left side. I'm going to scroll down and select Prescription. And then I'm going to come up here and choose a custom date range. I'm going to go back to September because uh, I know it was loaded to the account back in September. And then I can select the prescription or multiple prescriptions uh, to send to that machine. From there, I can just go to transfer equipment up here at the top and type in the model I want to send it to or machine I want to send it to. And at that point, once I found it, I just select it, come down to the bottom and hit transfer. And I could send this to multiple machines if I wish to and just hit transfer. And at that point, it's it's sent to the machine and ready. Uh, it'll be ready to be applied by the operator. First, we'll start off importing our prescription from the operation center. And to do that, we're going to go into our main menu. System, File Manager, and we can either import from USB stick or import from My John Deere. We have two files that have not been imported yet, so we're going to do that. And we'll hit Next. It has our two prescriptions. data successfully imported. So we're going to go do the other one. Pick the second prescription, hit next, and we'll go ahead and import that. And it's successfully imported. Now we have to set up our field in the monitor. So we'll hit our setup button, location, We're going to add a new client. We're going to use Landmark. As the client, our farm, we'll add Smith Center. And of course we have to add our field. Today we're going to simulate putting fungicide on wheat. Let's save. And that's the field we want, so we'll hit OK. And then when we get to the field, we'll fill out our conditions. In our setup, we're going to change the product name to fungicide. We'll use Bravo. Hit OK. Now the most important thing is when we're doing prescriptions, we're either running off the controller rate, which is your standard gallon per minute. But on this one, we want to use our prescription that we just downloaded. So we'll go into controller rate, we'll switch that to prescription or RX, and then we'll go look at our files, and we're going to use the full resolution to start with, hit OK, and it's converting our prescription, and the prescription map shows up on our screen with the look ahead times and it shows the min to max gallons on the field. So that's what we're going to do on the prescription. Now the prescription is in there. Awesome. Now we want to go make sure we have our nozzle set up correctly for pulsing. We're going to go to menu, 
booms and nozzles. We're going to touch on the spray mode. Manual setup. And we're going to be in the pulsing mode. And we have choices to run A, B, or A plus B. On this gallonage rate that we have, we're going to run A plus B. So both the front and the back nozzles. A four and a five combined is like using a number nine size nozzle because we're spraying 25 gallons as a high today. So we'll be able to handle that volume. So this is where we would go to set up our nozzles and our pulsing. We also have the ability to toggle between two different pressures. Pressure one is set at 31 PSI and pressure two is set at 60 PSI. So if we were doing a fungicide application and we wanted our pressure higher to get better coverage, we would probably choose the 60 PSI level. So we're going to leave it there. And that's our booms and nozzles run page. Now when we're running, we'll be able to tell you the RX rate that the prescription says we're supposed to do and the actual while we're running the prescription. So we're going to get loaded up and then head out to the field. So there's our target rate. Here, we're going to blow up the map. We have the prescription in the background and the as applied rates as we're going through and it seems to be running the higher of the two rates that are in the prescription. We see on the map where we have 25 gallon rate in the green and 15 gallon rate in the red. When we go through two different prescriptions it always chooses the higher of the two rates but when we go through a zero rate it is shutting the nozzles off individually. More evidence of that on the rate when we go through two different colors of rates it's always picking the higher rate.